So I thought it would only be fair if I talked about Jack Jean. For those of you who do not know, uh, for quite a bit of time now, there was a work being teased by Sue Yoshida, who is the author of Tokyo Ghoul, obviously, teasing this new work called Jack Jean. We didn't know what this was. At the time, we just seen some images and the title, and we didn't know if this was going to be a manga, if this was going to be an anime, a game, etc, etc. We had no clue. And it was odd too, because he was doing a lot of promotional work for this series, you know, drawing a lot of interesting characters with some pretty unique designs. Seemingly, it was looking like he was getting back on the horse. A lot of us fans were excited that he'd be coming back to draw manga, but if you know what Tsue Ishida is like as a person, and you know how he felt about Tokyo Ghoul and how he felt about drawing and being an artist, it was a little bit too soon. If anything, it was way too soon for him to kind of get back on the horse, especially how detrimental his health got when he was writing Tokyo Ghoul. Not only were we excited to find out what it was, but we were also kind of hoping that it wasn't a manga, because we ultimately didn't want Tsui Ishida to fall back down that loophole of not enjoying his own story. We didn't want his health to drop any lower. We didn't want him to stress himself out and overwork himself with this stuff. Those interviews really do give a incredible lot of insight to who he was as a person. So what is Jack Jean? Funny enough, Jack Jean is a Nintendo Switch game that will be releasing in 2020, free promotion. For the most part, we don't really know all too much of the semantics of the game. I believe it's a Otomo game. I'm not, I'm not even sure how you pronounce that. I say that, but it's not actually confirmed, I don't think. There's no real gameplay elements being shown. There's only kind of like a teaser trailer and Sue Ishida is doing the artwork for it. Funny enough, he also did reveal that he has been working on this project for three years. Years. That's basically the length of Tokyo Ghoul Re. Now, I found this very interesting, right? Not only was he working on Tokyo Ghoul Re and kind of feeling some type of way about it, but he was also working on Jack Jean. Sui Ishida is a very prominent artist and he seemingly loves to draw, if shown by anything by his Twitter. He draws all the time. So it's hard for me to question if Jack Jean had any sort of influence on Sui Ishida and wanting to quit Tokyo Ghoul. I'd probably say no, but there's also that added pressure of doing more work. And when you think about a weekly author bringing out chapters every single week of such high quality, it's hard to think that they could do anything else within that meantime. It's like if they had a completely whole new job on the side while also trying to create a weekly manga, which I know they stretched their deadlines out very close. And considering Sue Ishida was kind of like his own person, he didn't really have any editors to realistically help him all too much, or at least kind of put him in a direction, at least supposedly by his interviews and what he was saying. Kind of wanted to surprise everyone with Tokyo Ghoul, so if anything, he had to rely on his assistance, I'd assume. However, on a good note, it did seem that Jack Jean wasn't a prominent thing. It wasn't like a overlooming deadline that he had to do. It was kind of more like he was creating the premise of this idea, uh, as well as the artwork at his own pace, which I think is a pretty good thing also. If anything, it could have even helped elevate Tokyo Ghoul to a certain extent. The reason why I say this, and the reason why I wanted to stress that tiny bit of information is because there's a lot of elements of at least so far the very kind of synopsis of what this game is going to be that has actually kind of breached over from Tokyo Ghoul Re to Jack Jean. And I find this extremely extremely interesting and I think I will most definitely do a video talking about gender dysphoria as well as Mitsuki. Ishida loves to have gender dysphoric characters. I don't know why. I think for him it could be a very fascinating writing element and a good portrayal of character development and interaction. The Japanese language is very complex in nature and I believe has a lot of gender related speech patterns. You know you could speak in a more male oriented way or a more female oriented way even a very gender neutral type of way and this reflects very heavily in Matsuki's character. The reason why this is important and why I'm telling you this now is that this is breached directly actually over to Jack Jean. It's actually the somewhat main premise of the story. I'm going to read a very small portion of what the premise is so it gives you a better idea. Jack Jean's story follows Kisa Tachibana, a young girl who gave up a career in theater but soon attends a drama school, Universe Drama School. It's an elite school for male actors who perform in plays in both traditional male, known as Jack roles, and traditional female roles, known as Jean roles. If Tachibana wants to stay enrolled in the school, she has to land the starring role in the school's big end of year play, all while hiding she's actually a girl. 
Now, not necessarily gender dysphoria. Obviously, compared to Matsuki's character, it's not as vicious, but it's still a very interesting take on the premise. I don't think it's obviously going to be as complex as the intricacies of Matsuki's character or what Tokyo Ghoul Re did bring to the table regarding gender, but I do think he took a lot of inspiration for it, and I do think he does like the idea of writing around characters like that, putting them in very odd situations, both physically and mentally and emotionally. A female that has to act as a male in a all-male school in a spotlight of drama acting is a pretty full-on thing. If this was a manga, I think it'd be very interesting, but as a game, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if this game is going to be localized, I don't know if it's going to have an English release, I really don't know nothing about it so far. We only have a couple of images, the premise, but also the lingering kind of hope that if Jack Jean is successful, it could turn into a lot of different things. Uh, more specifically, it could turn into a mobile game, special events, merchandise, but also anime. I think it would be nice to see kind of Suei Ishida behind another anime. Obviously, this is kind of his work. He did write the premise of the story. Is he writing it directly? Not necessarily. He's actually working with the author that done the Tokyo Ghoul spin-off novels, which I think he's in pretty good hands at that point. When you have Suei Ishida and the person that's writing the spin-off novels for Tokyo Ghoul, they're going to create something pretty great, and the story is going to be pretty intuitive. For the most part, this is where his focus has been going. This is what Jack Jean is, a Nintendo Switch game that comes out in 2020. He's written the premise for it, and it's a kind of gender-based story, which is always interesting to me with how Suei Ishida handles this stuff. It, it seems pretty lighthearted. I don't think it's going to be crazy emotional or, you know, crazy dark or anything like that, just from the trailer that we've actually seen, which is a very good change of pace, especially for Suei Ishida and how he feels towards a lot of different things. But you never really know anything could change. The idea that it could possibly be turned into an anime makes me pretty excited. But I think the most important thing from this is that this is a really good breather for Suei Ishida. It seems like he is having fun drawing again. It seems like he's really enjoying what he's working on right now and this will probably get his creative juices flowing and if he ever were to return back to the manga industry which i do think he may evidently do just not as a weekly format i think he would definitely go to maybe a bi-weekly or even a monthly series which i think in my opinion would suit him perfectly especially if he's going to be writing a dark series once again but you never know on that regard i think jack jean is the perfect segue to potentially a new series it gives him enough time to breathe it gives gives him creative liberty, he seems like he's having a really good time with it and he's really passionate about this project, considering that's kind of like his first game that he specifically wrote the premise for, a lot of companies are putting a lot of money into it and looking to expanding into anime and mobile phone versions and special events and merchandise, they seem like they really want to push this as an, a pretty big thing. And with the name Suei Ishida behind it, I think it probably will do pretty well. So for the people that have kept hounding me time and time again to talk about Jack Jean, here it is. You finally got all the information you could ever want from what this series is so far. I may make another video on this later on down the line when more information is revealed or gameplay or something like that. Long story short, it's not exactly what people wanted. Obviously, it's not a new manga, but I think that's a pretty good thing. People are still kind of happy that Suei Ishida still wants to do stuff like this. He still wants to, you know, draw and be an artist and have this work ethic towards him. He didn't kind of just drop off the face of the earth and never wants to write manga again, which is kind of what he implied with his interviews. It seems like he was done with everything at that point and it kind of worried a lot of people, but seeing him now and how far he's come, it's, it's really nice. And I think this will be a very good break for him, could easily and potentially kind of push him to look at starting a new series, a new manga, which I know without a doubt people would be crazily excited for. So I would definitely love to see a lot of creative influence from Tokyo Ghoul Re, even if it's just subtle references to maybe Matsuki's character and how she's portrayed throughout Tokyo Ghoul Re. I think his portrayal of gender dysphoric characters or the gender identity characters or anything related to that is really intuitive. It really showcases a good side of his work. So if he were to pull that uh, from Tokyo Ghoul Re and kind of inlay that with Jack Jean, I would be very excited for it. I would love to see that and how that is kind of brought to life 
life in not only a video game format but potentially an anime format and uh, seeing that in a more maybe positive light obviously Matsuki's character was extremely dark and detrimental and self-regressive so uh, it'd be interesting to see another take for it and uh, it's where you should as approach for new and interesting characters so with that being said that is basically it let me know how you guys feel about Jack Chain you know it's not a new manga or anything like that but a Nintendo Switch game if you are interested in Japanese Nintendo Switch games or any Japanese games kind of like this whether it be visual novels or anything like that let me know how you feel about this one you're gonna play it you hope it's gonna get an English release let me know with that being said I'm actually going to end the video off here I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one goodbye